Okay, so we're rolling. So I have my friend here, Angelus. Angelus, say hello. Hey, everyone. Angelus. So I talked about Angelus before, and I uh, I told them about the story how we met. Yes. And basically, basically your your spirit guide told you come take cross over the bridge. Yes. Right? I can you, tell you the you're, story. You're, so so go ahead, tell them. When I decided to go out for nature, walk, go to the river, and like high five myself, go to the river and collect some chi. So I decided I went down there and I did that, and then I decided you know what maybe I should go home now. I know, and I was going to go to the bridge just behind me right there. And then spirit told me keep going straight, go to the park. And then that's it. And then I went. And then I saw him and I looked at him and then Spear said he's a star seed, help him. He, now, and, um, now interestingly, I was making videos but they had nothing to do with star seed stuff. I, I was talking about like, you know, consciousness, ego oh. stuff and your first thing you said to me was, are you a star seed? Yeah, that was I, the first thing you said. I said that uh, you were talking about conscious, uh, consciousness. consciousness. Then I said, yeah. are you a star seed? And yeah. then he said, I think so. I think so because I, I it's funny because I have been literally for a week before we met looking into that topic. Before that I wasn't. So yeah. it's like that was a confirmation. Yeah. It's like that that was the ultimate confirmation, you know, because again, it's like for a week straight I ha I had a video on my YouTube on my computer. The title of the video is Are You a Star Seed? And I didn't watch it yet. I just had it on hold there for a couple of days. I didn't watch it, right? It yeah. was sort of like I put the file on hold for a little bit, right? Yeah. And then you come in, and that sent me now on all because kinds of rabbit holes. <laughs> I feel that it's my duty to help other star seeds uh, to find their path, find their mission. And I go with Spirit guides me to do, and do what Spirit requires me to do to help for the highest good for the collective of all on this planet through, through this ascension time. So, how many? Approximately, what are the numbers, approximations of star seeds on the planet right now? Uh, a lot of people. Uh, they're, they're scattered to the whole planet to to, to uh, for the grids. Uh, there's a there's statistically for like like the Earth angels or like 144. Uh, if you guys hear about it in the Bible, the 144, like they take it up, but like that's actually like uh, angels on uh, angelic humans specifically. I'm not sure for the whole detail on that, but I know for sure that uh, there's, there's star seeds everywhere for the whole globe, from different parts of the globe, there's star seeds everywhere. There's three waves, the first waivers, the second waivers, and the third waivers. The second waivers are like the, like eight, the 80s and 90s, and then the, the first waivers are like the light workers. That's the and hippies, then, the yeah, first, yeah, hippies, the hippies, yeah, exactly. the 60s, yeah, exactly. that was the first wave. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and the third wave is the indigo children. Like the people with the big eyes, the kids, the high, like they look more hybrid looking. They're, they're, they're very powerful, like really small, intelligent children. Uh, the indigos, crystals. This, this information is from Dolores Cannon, right? Yeah. yeah this Many thing. other people talk Many about this stuff. Many other people talk yeah. about this stuff. So it was, it's, it's, from several, it's from several different Yeah, and that's uh, how you know it's true. Channels, everyone yeah. talks about it. Yeah, because there are certain channels out there that are... Uh, sort of given a lot of, uh, let's say, social proof, and Dolores Cannon is one of them. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, she's she's thought overall to be a legitimate channel. Yeah, uh, you know, and there's Bar 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 Barbara Mansiniak, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's another channel, Bar Barbara Mansiniak. But if you guys, the best researchers I know of, you guys should check this out. If you guys are interested in knowing some knowledge of uh, disclosure information about the extraterrestrials, about ascension. You guys want to learn about chakras? Look up David uh, uh, David Wilcock, Lorian Eisenhower, Dan Winters, and Connie Good, and I. I and there may be other people, but also yeah. look up. Um, if you guys want to know like like galactic news and stuff like this, check uh, uh, Alexander and Rion on YouTube. The two Stosies, they, they they live in Sedona, Arizona. High vibers. Uh, so Sedona is supposed to be the root chakra of the, yes, of the earth because the earth has seven chakras yes so, everything has chakras because the, the macro the microcosm is the manifestation of the macro so we have seven chakras we're we're a microcosm of the macrocosm which is the like, earth like for example so the earth has seven bubble chakras within a bubble like 10 bubbles in one bubble and that one bubbles and 10 more big bubbles that's in one big bubble and then 10 in that right. you know like everything it's an organism existence is an organism of networks of all everything's connected to it and then Within that, you have like galaxies, uh, realms, you have different parts of it. 
but they all co-hand with each other just like a cell to function as an organism. All parts have to be functioning and connecting, everything has to be a balance to create harmony in, in all aspects. And, and, and a balance is always needed. A balance will always find a way, the universe will always find a way to create a balance, to keep that balance at some level. Like for example, Gaia, Earth, there's a lot of things going on with humanity and then a lot of people from different realms, different planets came in to help to create a balance. We're here to create and pull away from the AI and go back to Gaia. Yeah, right. Right. So like sometimes people will say things like, um, like I, I follow David Icke, for example. I really like David Icke. Yeah, me too. And, uh, you know, oh, sometimes... Yeah, I don't follow. Yeah. Sometimes people will say this. We'll say, well, if he's legit, why isn't he, why didn't they kill him? Why didn't they get to him? Because they can't get to everybody because there is a balance. Like you, what do you, you know what I mean? Like they, they can't they, get to everybody. They there, can't, you there's know. There's rules and stuff that uh, they can do, but they always try to get attacked. They, oh yeah, they everybody, always, will yeah, 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 everybody yeah. will get attacked. Yeah, everybody will get attacked. No question. That, like, you know how many times uh, David Wilcock Attack, like, he, he says he, he's, he's been threatened by the yeah. Rothschild. Yeah, 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 all that crap yeah, yeah, is yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, like whoever tries to say the truth and try to expand, be prepared. Just like, don't worry, you cannot get harmed. They can't hurt you. You guys are consciousness. You guys are powerful beings. You guys are creator. And we just have to remember that they have no power over you. You're the one with the powers because those that service yourself take power. They can't find the power within because they don't know how. They haven't done it yet. They like they they, they, they they you know. But those that have service to others, they already have the power to give to others, right? Yeah. So now here's something I want to talk about. It's a little bit. Uh, it's in the same same sort of interests, but just a different. Uh, you know, slightly more specialized. The moon. Now, two different sources I know of. David Ike and Barbara Mansignac. Independently, Barbara Mansignac is a channel of the Pleiadians. And both of them independently, around the same time by the way, independently, came to the information that the moon is a spying satellite. It's a, it's, it's a, not a natural object. That it's, it's placed... I can talk about a little bit about it. There's some things I can't talk about. Because uh, uh, I, I do know some things about the moon, but it is... It is but on the stuff side of the moon. There's there's bases, military bases. Right. And yes, they do spy. They do spy on all the stuff like that. It is true. So it is. It is. Um, it is not a natural object in the sense that it, it, it's been put there. It's uh, been put the there. The moon has been put there to spy, like to to like there's military bases and stuff like this. They do programs and stuff. But uh, I'm not going to like they have and, programs on the Mars and, too. Like David Wilcock talks about it, and they. they so that explains why on the full moon, you know, the animals are more agitated and their the crime rates are higher. And, I'm not sure exactly. And everybody what? seems to be more agitated on the full moon. There's it's there's the energy. A, it's the energy. Yeah, so it's the so energy. so then it's been placed there to also you know mess around with with the energies of the of the planet of the that of the living beings on on the planet. Yeah. I mean why why I mean there you know there's a. Everybody knows, all the cops, they know, they know, okay, on the full moon, we're going to be busier, you know, and, uh, you know, I've always, I've always felt, but here's the thing, but the moon isn't, wouldn't you agree that the moon is beautiful? Like, it is. It's a beautiful thing. Sometimes it looks plastic. Yeah, it, it looks plastic, right? But, but it's, it's not, it's an actual rock. It's a, it's, you're right. They carved it out inside. Like they off is a like off has an inner off. So so it's just because room. it's a it's a spying uh, satellite doesn't mean it isn't beautiful. There is still a beauty. Yeah, to it's, the a, moon. it's it's just a rock. They just called it. Yeah, out. it's a beautiful rock. Let's say, but it, it's it's you know it, it, it is. What do you think the idea of the Death Star from Star Wars came from? Yes, yes, yes. That Death Star is supposed to represent a, the moon. Let me tell you guys something. They have to tell you what they're doing to you at all times. They're like programmings and simple little messages, they tell you what they do to you all the time. Isn't that just, part of the rules of yes, the universe? It's, it's they a, have to yeah. tell you, by the way. That's why all these truths, they put it yeah, there in movies. It's, it's a rule. They have to tell you what they're doing to you, and you have to give them permission for them to do it. If you, if you say no, they can't touch you. That's it. That's all. You, you, if you start feeding them, detaching your cardings, detach your energy, and shield just and, and, and protect yourself from all that's around you, of everything, energetically, uh, astrically, you know, all aspects of yourself, detach yourself from that, and, and just like realize that, okay, I am 
are you self power yourself and not feeding others just feed yourself and then you can feed others like don't feed the bad ones because they're just not going to give back to you give those that will give back like if you love someone they will love you back you know like a relationship it's just that's like if you keep giving you're going to drain yourself into an yeah. empty battery yeah that's where you have to recharge yourself or find a way to give a, ba a balance back and forth back and forth to keep yourself balanced you know Put, uh, put your own give, oxygen mask on first. It's good to give, but know your limits of giving, because you got to realize that if they're not giving back, at, at, like and at, like, you know, like they're going to drain you. Some people just do it to drain you, and you just have to know what the attentions are to begin with. So yeah. Now here's here's my idea of that. My idea of that is that you become so full of light that you can't be drained anymore. And that's why I that, preach. That's, re, that's when you become source. Yeah, become that's when you become that source. Is. That's why I preach breatharianism. And that way you just, that way they're giving them, that, yeah. So that, guys, that's why I preach breatharianism. Because once you're able to sustain yourself off the universal energy, no, no longer needing food, no longer needing water, you're basically becoming source. And you have, you're now becoming this infinite source of energy. And now you can't really be drained. You see, that's the idea. That's the idea is to become that source energy. It's to become that, that uh, you know, infinite consciousness. And then you become he and she who is infinite. So then you can no longer be drained, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we're put inside this system. And, uh, you know, if you look at the, the design of a city, the city is deliberately designed to drain uh, human beings the out city, of the energy. Let me explain you guys about the city. Uh, the city was designed to be traps, cages, electrical cages. Electrical cages. You got everyone lives in a cage. Tech to the walls. There's EMFs in the walls, the satellites, the, the, the electrical wires, the power plants. These are EMF signals. They are affecting your brain waves and your connections in your brain. They're making you go crazy. They're making you like you can't concentrate. You keep, it's making you catch Ill, illnesses eventually. But now we, you know, like especially with the 5G coming out, that's really, really bad. We cannot have that happen. That's, that's like the next level EMF. Uh, uh, it's really going to really cause a lot of damage. Uh, and, and it's not really good. But like genuinely, to, to, to do this, guys, is to ground yourself as much as you can, do meditation, work on yourself and your chakras, and just like find ways to get back in nature and get away from this. Find a way to live in nature, live, live well there's like uh, a lot of trees and live like, off grid communities, live with shamans, understand the nature and get back into them, learn about it, do some research, learn how to camp, bushcrafting, you know, just do things that will high vibe yourself, detach yourself from the programming and the crap and find yourself again, connect to your source energy, connect to yourself, you know, it's, it's going to be really, really beneficial if you guys, if you guys take the time and effort, but only you guys can do it. But we can guide you. As Star Seeds, we're here to guide you. We're here to, to bring you up at some level. But you have to be willing to accept our help, willing to allow us to help you. But then you have to do the walk. We can show you the door, but you have to walk through it. That's that's, that's the rule of ascension. Right, and you guys are and mostly. Comes, ascension is within, by the way. It's Ascension is within, and that affects outer ascension. Like the whole, as a collective ascension. Oh, I'm sorry. And you guys are mostly star seats anyway, so you wouldn't be watching these videos otherwise, some right? Some people, I'm sensing that some people will, some people will, will be curious, some wanderers will watch. Uh, so what? Internet. It's right, wanderers. So there would be some people watching this. They're just wanderers. They'd be they drawn to watch it to open up. To open up, like new right? Humans. New right. Humans new humans. New humans. This. Okay, okay. So there's old humans that all like stuck in the old state. that's like basically like uh, an example of a construction worker <laughs> right like somebody who no could... it's not no it's, it's it's perspective it's like the soul is so damaged and like the soul in into the old ways that uh, they keep that they're stuck and they, they, they cannot be helped and, and unfortunately when we do ascend so many people uh, there's a big amount of people that will ascend but not everyone's going to ascend some people would die in hell and, and just... Wouldn't you say most people won't ascend? A lot of people will ascend. Most people would are ready to ascend physically. No, 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 but I'm saying like now we have 7 billion people on the planet. Yeah. Do you think... I don't think most are ready. To no, a lot of people are not ready. I think the majority of the 7 billion are yeah. not ready. No. Yeah, the a majority. A lot of people are not ready. Yeah, yeah. And those that will ready will ascend. And the, the new humans are ready. The star seeds are here to help. The 
Stelzi has been doing this for a lot of times. Uh, but new humans are ready to ascend. And that's why we're here to help the new humans. To help those that can't ascend find their way. And, 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 and yeah. So right. Right, you, you, you guys have to really start looking into ET stuff because like everything is like every we're just pawn, like every, we're pawns in the game. Like, Mostly, the, the the first thing is it's to, a game. Like it's a game going on. The first thing to do is to know what's go, know what's happening to you, understand what's happening to you. Secondly, is to know who what you are, who you are, and understand how to heal hmm. and ascend your DNA, your chakras, and and and, and reprogram your chakras. Each chakra is connected to like different parts of like the solar plexus connected to yes uh, self-esteem. You have to build your self-esteem by working on your solar plex, by creativity, by expressive, and that and you know chakras are connected. It's all it's, chakras are a very very complicated system, but you have to do your own research. But the basic knowledge of it's it's um it's just basically realigning your chakras like programming like jealousy or hatred so or. or or greed, or like all these shock, uh, all these uh, uh, um, program has to be tr integrated into yourself and you release by reprogramming yourself all through your chakras to allow your body to live, vibrate lighter. Reptilian programs, all these reptilian programs. Yeah, they right? try yeah. to the realigning all your <laughs> chakras to your lower chakras, so that way you can keep yourself down. Yeah. You have to balance all your connections to your, all your chakras and unblock and clear all that out. But not all reptilians are bad. The specific, the individual ones that are bad are the ones that are self-serve. Because you can have service of self in any culture, specifically. Uh, but uh, it's like, you know, if you guys have seen Star Trek. Star Trek is based, it's not based, it's, it's yeah, it's kind of based off reality. But reality is basically Star Trek on steroids. Well, oh, and all these basically. movies, The Matrix, Star Wars, Star Trek... Like the writers of these movies are people that they're in the inner circle of the of, of this. Like they, they, some of them probably have met these ETs. You know, like a lot of people. Met yeah, ETs. it's. I even met. A yeah, couple, it's so it's it's like when you see these movies, like they're just representing reality. Yeah, and again, remember. Basically, they're just letting you know what's going on. Yeah, and like they're telling you what's going on, but sub subliminally. Because they because have they to, have because to. that's the law. Yeah, because that's the law. law. It's, it's not a physical law, it's a universal law. It's a law. universal law. Uh, uh, Cosmic uh, law. Yeah, because if they don't, then the benevolent beings, the good ETs, the benevolent beings, will come in and do something. Right. And create a balance. Right. Because then they have a right. Then they. Uh, if, if the bad guy, let's say the benevolent beings break a law, then. The benevolent beings have the right to come uh, in to, to so do something about it. So the benevolent have to tell you so that the benevolent beings don't, don't want come them to in. come in to make a right, difference. Right. So they they have to obey right. the rules, but allow other people to do them do them on their own free will. Like let's say I convince him to I don't know take out the trash for me one day. You know, it's the same like same thing. I'm not telling him to do it. He wants to do it on his own free will because I'm convincing him. Now he might have manipulated me. He yeah, might have done this and that, do. but nevertheless, I I accept it. Yeah, you know, and I I I accepted it. Okay, good stuff. Okay, Angelus man. So how could they find you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Facebook. You can find me on my website at www.readingswithinjelus.com. Okay. Um, you can find me on my page called. Uh, so, what's your Facebook? If they want to find you on Facebook, they look up what? Angelus Dale. Angelus Dale. So, A N G E L U S. Angelus. Yeah. Ang Angelus. Angelus. And D A L E. D A L E. My okay. Last name. Okay, you guys check it out. Uh, Angelus is not my physical name, it's my spiritual name. Okay. It, uh, because I want, I, I prefer, I feel comfortable using that name. Okay, cool. Angelus, man, it's been a pleasure having you here. Yeah, thank you. Likewise. Okay, I'm yeah. glad I can uh, give you guys some insights. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and, and so. And uh, yeah, we'll continue with the ET videos, okay? All right, so I'll see you guys again. Okay.